Okay, so we still have not um, retired this thing. Uh, 408 now. And, um, oh, by the way, it's a 10 millimeter there. You just take off this ground wire. But it, it has that, um, I finally figured out what it's called, but uh, torque steer really bad. Um, when you get on the highway and get up to speeds and it shifts, it wants to pull pretty hard to the left. Um, part of it, I think, is this mount. So we're going to try that. We're going to change it out and see what happens. This is an easy one to get to, and it's only 40 bucks. Um, but this is definitely, um, I'll put a clip in here, but you can see just by putting it into park and shift and drive, um, it it plays around in here because this uh, bushing is, is broken inside it. So I uh, just need real quick change here. Two 14s right here and the 10 to get that out of the way. But this one should be really easy to change. It's uh, just take out this 14 millimeter here and then the 14 millimeter on the frame back here and your ground wire that's a 10. And then my wife's, uh, the, as I've called her before, the parts fairy. She's off at AutoZone on her way back from taking Thomas somewhere, uh, getting me a new mount. So I'll have this off by the time she gets back. And we'll just swap it in and take it for a drive and see if it fixes it. Um, I haven't checked the bottom one, the lower one, and it's probably bad. Um, in fact, all the mounts are probably bad with 400 and some thousand miles on it, right? But uh, at least the one on this side, I'm not even going to attempt to change. Uh, the CV axle goes through it, and there's you pretty much have to take the whole wheel and everything off. And... Um, just like it's a, it's a pretty good job to get to it. So I'm going to change this one out, see if it improves it some. If it doesn't, well, you know, we're that much closer. It's February. We wanted to start looking for a new car in March. We'll see if we can. Um, but I just hate it's still running, right, and everything. So I just, I hate to say I'm going to retire it, and it's still running fine. Um, so I'm going to try this out and see what happens. Uh, hopefully it'll take some of that off and she'll drive fairly nice i don't expect it to be great but you know if we can just get some of that some of that pull off of there it'll be it'll be worth it Is that her? oh there she is look at that timing Parts lady, right there. It's nice when you have a good looking parts lady. So, so there's the new one. And as you saw in the video, this portion here is busted pretty bad and it shifts every time you put it in park or whatever. Actually, that's pretty. Once you get it broke free, you can get this one off with your fingers. So you can just get it broke free with your ratchet and then, oh, well, there we go. So there's that one. And uh, this right here is cracked and it was shifting all the way forward. Get rid of that. And then uh, put the new one in here. This literally is a 10 minute job. I want to put both bolts in before you start tightening everything down because you might need to move them around you're gonna need a helper because you got to pull pull and push up at the same time so, just pu push it in you're just gonna have to get it straight and push there you go okay i think you got it Maybe. try to tighten it So if you have three hands or a helper, we'll help getting that in a little bit because it does fall with the weight of the motor, I suppose. And then you got to kind of 
pull out and lift this up at the same time to line up the holes. Now I don't know what the torques are, so I'm just gonna make it tight. All right, so that's how you change that torque mount out. And um, hopefully it'll improve our driving. So it didn't fix it totally, but it does not swerve quite as much. So I'm sure that a couple of other mounts are messed up or something, but um, I'm gonna look at those this weekend. I will not change the one that's on the lower passenger side because that's that one that the CV axle goes through and it's a pain in the butt and whatever else. So I may just drive it like it is and see how it goes. But it did help a little bit. It's not quite as squirrely at lower speeds. It's only up here when you're about, you know, 60, 65. Uh, then it starts kind of getting squirrely on the road when it, when it changes speeds and stuff. So it's probably, it seems to be those mounts. So if I could fix maybe just one more, then it'd be pretty, pretty comfortable drive again. Anyway, as always, go outside, do something, check back on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.